Hello. I'm going to talk to you about levels of uh, ty or types of fire alarm design. So we're going to talk about manual systems and life safety systems. So starting from the bottom is a manual fire alarm system. Now a manual fire alarm system will include uh, call points which are uh, located by every exit and at the top of stairs um, and if you've got a very big premises then you would put uh, some more call points in subject to the certain rules and sounders as well as uh, connected to your fire alarm so it's a manual operation with sounders uh, distributed around your building so that you've got um, a, a decent level of audibility which is measured at 65 decibels so there's a manual system so when you move on from a manual system then you generally you talk about life safety there are other standards that are available um, which we don't come across very often in the commercial world but the, the life safety standard is the one I'm going to explain. So life safety, so that's the L type, starts at five and then works its way up to one. So if you start with five, a life safety five is a risk assessed fire alarm design. So a risk assessed fire alarm design is a, a risk assessor would go into a building, he would look at each area and he'd say, right, okay, well, in this particular building, in this room, I want a smoke detector because there is a risk specific um, to life safety such as um, uh, a server room for example. So I want a smoke detector in there but because there's lots of other people around I don't want any more detectors in the building. Uh, it could be that there's 10 rooms like that or half the building like that but that's totally down to the fire risk assessor. So an L5 system is a risk assessed level of design and we're now specifically talking about smoke detectors. So if you remember, I talked about manual systems. Manual systems are your manual call points, your fire alarm panel, and your uh, sounders. So an L5 system needs all of those things, plus the detectors. So an L5 is a risk assessed system. The next one up from an L5 is an L4. And an L4 system is smoke detectors distributed around the buildings in the escape routes. So typically, if you had an office, for example, and you've got a corridor between some offices, along that corridor, you would mount your smoke detectors and perhaps you might come out to the reception uh, if it was a, a single level. Um, if you've got stairs to go up to the second level, then you'd have smoke detectors on the stairs and then the corridor would have smoke detectors. So for an L4 system, a life safety L4 system, you have smoke detectors along the escape routes. So that's pretty simple and, and that's pretty minimal from a life safety point of view. The next one up from an L4 is an L3. And an L3 is a, is a little bit more uh, uh, expansive as far as what it covers. Uh, it covers the escape routes, exactly the same as an L4, as I've just described. But the L3 asks you to, to put smoke detectors in the rooms that open onto the corridor. So you're walking down the corridor, that room opens to the corridor, so you put a smoke detector in that room. And the room opposite opens to the corridor, so you put a smoke detector in that room. Now when you think about it, in most buildings, most rooms open onto the corridor, which means effectively you've got most rooms with a smoke detector inside and along the corridors. So for an L3 system, it's the corridors, the corridors and the rooms that affect the corridors. So that's a life safety three. The next one up on the list is L2. Now an L2 is exactly the same as an L3, so the corridors and the rooms that can affect the corridors but the fire risk assessor has specified that that particular room that you've come out of onto the corridor as well as having a smoke detector in the room you've also got a specific room within that room and that could be for example a um, server room where you keep your computers and that risk assessor has decided that that's a specific risk so he wants or she wants a smoke detector in that room so that one detector is the whole difference between an L3 system, which is the escape routes and every room that opens onto the escape routes, and an L2, which is exactly the same, plus one detector, or it could be 15 extra detectors, but that depends on the fire risk assessor. So on your certificate, you would have, this is an L2 system, and the reason it's L2 is room number one which is this uh, fire risk assessed uh, uh, computer room uh, room number two it's a boiler room which is nowhere near the escape routes and doesn't affect the escape routes so and it could go on but that the fire risk assessor makes that choice so that's a nil two which is a life safety two system 
An L1 system is the top of the tree, um, effectively the most expensive when it comes to the fire alarm and the, by far the easiest to design. Now an L1 system is every single room in the building has a smoke detector and a room is defined as anything over a metre square. Now when you think of a metre square, so a metre is that, uh, possibly by that, so that's a big cupboard. So effectively you've got all your corridors covered, you've got all the rooms that affect the corridor, you've got all the rooms within the rooms and you've got store cupboards. You'll have your boiler room, you'll have uh, computer rooms, you'll have your lift motor rooms. Um, and, and the one thing to think of on top of this, for a Life Safety One system, is you're going to have any voids that are bigger than 800 um, millimetres deep, which is just under a metre. Now that does affect the other systems, so an L, anything with the, the basic rule is if you've got a smoke detector below the space and you've got a void, you put a smoke detector in it. Um, but an L1 system is effectively every space that you can get into that's bigger than a metre squared, um, and that's an L1 system. So thank you very much, and um, if you'd like to know a little bit more about this, we've created a fact sheet, um, and there should be a link uh, for you to follow to find out more. Thank you.